Hello there and welcome back to another LEGO video. This modular has been a long time in the works and now that I've finally built it, I think you are all owed another city update. It's been so long since I've showed off my city and I haven't really done much to improve it, but there are some big things coming, especially now I've got the first part to my LEGO store complete. You can see I've repurposed the LEGO city on a two by two red tile to act as the sign for the LEGO store. Perhaps if I find another sticker in my collection, I will add another side to this. However, I think the bigger problem will be finding a 2x2 two two red tile. This is the first floor. It's looking a bit minimal, but don't let that fool you. As soon as minifigures are all dotted around on all these studs and we've got some different stories going on, it'll definitely look a lot more packed, as well as the second floor, which will house the builder minifigure, pick a brick wall, which is iconic to the lego store and all the other things that i will be adding on the top floor i have again repurposed all the different stickers from this set actually it was the yellow lego truck that i got a while back that come with not only all these sets but also some of the lego stickers that i'll be adding to this building and you can see i suppose it mostly resembles the lego leicester square store with the white floors the stairs over to the side and I have built the Big Ben or the Queen Elizabeth II clock tower, whichever you call it, in Lego form. I've only built it on two sides as that will be how it's seen from outside the build. And it's not too bad having this one as even when you're looking at it from the top down, you don't really notice the back of it. And of course, the fourth side had to be flush against this wall, not to block up the bottom of the stairs. And I've also included the brick in the corner here, which if you watch my trip to Leicester Square, and more importantly, the Leicester Square Lego store, you'll see I did have a photo with this brick and the brick built brick was so detailed that it did look like the back of a brick on the back of the brick built brick, which is a lot of bricks, which is enough to twist your tongue. But I have included that in this by just making the brick empty at the back or hollow so you can see the Lego design. And I've even included on the front a little Leicester in the window at Leicester Square there is a mascot who's called Lester, who's in a full dark blue suit, has an umbrella and, of course, a bowler's hat. So I have recreated it best I can in this modular. And of course, all I've done for this is put some tiles and a wand in this window plate, which if you saw the pick a brick video from my visit to this store, you'll know that I got these elements with the purpose of putting bricks and weapons inside of them. So to do both for the modular of the Lego store was really something that I enjoyed putting together and I do have the windows for the front of the store. The side wasn't too much a problem as they're just going to be one long window which outside will actually have a load of figures queuing up for. I haven't quite worked how I'm going to do that yet but the front will be windowed off at either side with a door in the middle and I just don't have any of these clear elements. I did have a blue door however I would like to keep this clear just so it goes with the others so I'll be ordering them from lego.com and after I've completed the modular I'll be adding them at a later date and showing it off in another city update video. But taking a look inside you can see I've got this podium right here at the start perhaps looking through the window is best and you can see I've got the lego truck on display at the bottom as I did have an extra sticker for that and I've even included a glass brick on top with a flat yellow one by one stud just to show off the truck and make it look like the sets on display and that is a technique I have carried across to the actual display over here under the stairs not only have I sloped up this gap making sure no one can peek or sneak away under the stairs but I've also included the clear bricks between the models with a flat tile of the color representing the model best and you can see the police car at the bottom does have a white tile and the fire truck a red one and of course, no need for the top one when it's already on display out the front of the store. Now, when I went to Leicester Square for September 1st, there was a make and take event where I got to build my own Lego Harry Potter one. So check out that video again. It was really fun filming it. And I've actually just released a video on a trip to the Westfield Lego store in Stratford. If you haven't watched that already, but I've recreated this little make and take portion down here where I have a few minifigures standing around building ones or dependent on the time building their own takeaway gifts but then we'll have a second floor with the stairs leading up i have already built the basis of the second floor and as you can see i've tried to use 
as many plates as I can. I've just created a brick wide layer. Well, actually, it's only two plates, but including the tiles from this bottom bit, it's about a brick tool so that my modular lines up with my other buildings and enabled it so I can make the most of the second floor. You've still got the little balcony esque edge to the floor which you can see in the Leicester Square store and that enables you to look over to the Big Ben, the Brick, Leicester and all the other people coming in the store. But there is plenty of space up here, not only a till where you can pay for your Lego purchases but also for the pick a brick wall to come along this side and maybe some build and minifigure stations to dot around as well as perhaps some sort of mural at the top of the stairs. So that I'll be working on for the next few weeks and updating you on my final Lego store modular build when I've got it done but for now this is the first floor so let's go place it in the city and see what else I have updated and now the Lego store is placed in the city I can show you all the other updates that I have made and I did already record it well I thought I recorded this and then when I checked I double clicked the record button and hadn't recorded anything so I'll try not to miss anything out but as you can see, the LEGO City fits quite nicely, especially with a sign overhanging the pavement where I hope to get all the minifigures queued up and perhaps the next update when I finish the second floor, I'll add all the minifigures alongside it as it does look pretty bare, especially with all the space out front. But once I've built the second floor, I do want to go a floor higher with this LEGO theme and create a LEGO museum as I have a few cool old bricks and a few special bricks that I think would, would be home quite nicely and originally it was going to be the second floor of the Lego store but then I filled in the ground floor and realised I still needed to do the build a minifigure and the pick a brick wall so I decided that will be the second floor and I'll create a whole floor dedicated to the history of Lego which if you've ever been to the Leicester Square store before the Lego Dreams line of sets came out they used to have a history of the brick segment just at the back middle of the store that was really cool to go and see the history of Lego. So that will be the third floor and the fourth floor will be a rooftop where I'll have a little farm as I do want to create a little farmer's market out the front just to fill in this empty space and give something just to fill it up as well as all the people queuing for the Lego store. And I already have a few ideas for that but that will just fill that space nicely. And of course I have the Big Bang flat that I will be building for the top of my sitcom tower. So next to that I'm not quite sure what I'll have. I have enough Marvel and Star Wars and Harry Potter elements from duplicates and minifigures and exclusive pieces that have come in sets to make a sort of wizard shop selling all sorts of memorabilia. And I'll perhaps have more of a collector's arrangement on the second floor but I don't know the two floors above it. And again I'm going to have two floors of a restaurant at the end here. But the two floors above I really don't know so perhaps I can build some houses for the minifigures that are populating my city and you can see as far as animals I have the dog here who's chilling in the sidecar loving life I have the cat on the top of the friends building and I think there's a bird currently sat on the Lego store it was just on the pavement so it's now found a place to perch but besides that I do want to add some more animals and I do actually want to add a little sea life exhibit here with these seals going over a tunnel of people that they can walk through and I think the second floor I'm dedicating to a whole fish tank which will just look so cool from everyone else's perspective as imagine if you walk past the building and it just had a floor dedicated to a fish tank I think that's such a cool idea and something anyone hasn't done before so I'm definitely going to be the first to do that for my city as well as rocking up this whole wall here we've got the tunnel that's half complete and I might even create a little cabin just to sit on the cliffs here. But that will be something I look to do in the future. And of course I'll have some sort of waterfall or something filling up this little puddle here. As it just creates something different for the pavement that isn't going to be squared off like the rest of the city. And speaking of the rest of the city I've talked about the buildings. But now let's take a look at all the flowers around that you wouldn't have seen yet. And as I pointed out. A few minutes ago when I wasn't recording behind this police car there are some berry bushes here which I'm quite proud of the design. I've just stacked some of these leaf plates with the smaller leaf designs which I just had enough for to create these two bushes. And behind this speeding bike you can also see there's an arrangement of lavender plants that continues just around the corner past Wally leading up to a small tree and 
at the back there is a whole assortment of different colors of flowers which just creates some variety especially when you've got all the different colors of lego figures that are going to be queuing up outside the lego store and if i move this garbage truck just pull it forward for a second you can see there's some new flowers that have been planted just outside the central perk and where minifigures have to walk around joey and chandler they've trodden down this patch so all we've been left with is a little bit of mud but that continues up to another new planted tree and we've actually got a bigger tree next to it which is from one of my other city builds it might have even been a build that i created myself and i've planted two plants either side of the tree just to give it a bit of texture as it meets the pavement we got a few more colorful plants and especially these pink ones i've tried to extend further up as some different breeder plant and right at the bottom someone's dog has left a mess which really should have been cleaned up but i guess dogs do need to use the bathroom as minifigures don't i haven't included a bathroom in any of these builds and don't intend to as i feel like i can make the space much more useful but hopefully you enjoyed the update to my lego city and hopefully i can get the second floor finished quite soon populate it with some minifigures and it will really start coming together perhaps even add a car here or around the corner just to give the garbage men some company and once i get started on the rock work this whole city is going to be looking really awesome so let me know down in the comments below if you have any ideas for these top bits here if you've seen my pick a brick video where i collected a bunch of chairs to build a roof perhaps i'll do that on one of these two stories as we already have the little indentation from a friend's flat so that could be quite interesting but for now this is the lego city and do like the video if you do indeed like the video subscribe so you see more and don't miss out on the future updates and as always may the bricks be with you